All right, people, today I'm gonna to give you five more unique fish that you can buy for under five pounds. Now, this is part two. I've done a part one for five fish you can get for under five pounds. If you wanna watch that, I'll put it up here somewhere, or you can just watch it after this one. But yeah, quick disclaimer, guys. The prices I'm gonna give you are based on the local fish store that I go to in London, which is Wholesale Tropicals in Bethnal Green. So yeah, do keep in mind, guys, that when you go to your local fish store, the prices may vary, but generally speaking, they will always be in that same similar price range. Range. all right and um let's just start now at number five i actually went with a more common fish because i just feel like they do need a little shout out and that is albino corridoras i mean corridoras in itself are already underrated like personally i believe if you don't have any fish that would eat corridoras then your tank should have corridoras now corridoras are amazing like they just go through the floor all day if there's any dirt they might you know bring it up into the water and then it can go through to the filter and stuff like that and yeah they really help with having if you have any dead spots in the tank where debris builds up they do usually move that stuff about now the reason i put albino corridors in is because of their color i mean in my fish tank i've got some and you know i've got black substrate so they just pop out beautifully when you're looking at my fish tank compared to the peppered corridors that i also have there they kind of blend in with the substrate substrate Right, I need to work on my articulation. Anyway, you can get albino corridoras for four pounds fifty. You do want to keep them in a group, maybe four to five. In my tank, I've got five. And yeah, they pretty much eat any kind of bottom feeder food, or they even eat the flake food that sinks to the bottom. And they are very, very hardy. But yeah, like I mentioned, they are slightly more common. So let's just move on to the next one, which is a bit more unique, and that is the hatchet fish. Yeah, now the hatchet fish is a very unique fish, and they look so cool, man. They will cost you five pounds a piece and they kind of just float on the surface waiting for food to come on and sometimes when you see them in a the shop they might look a bit boring because they like i said they just float on the surface however when you look at fish you kind of need to use your imagination a little bit and try to imagine them in your fish tank for example in my fish tank i've got some surface plants and if i were to have a couple hatchet fish they would look really cool alongside those surface plants now unfortunately i do have a african butterfly fish which would attack any other surface dwelling fish talking from experience here so yeah i unfortunately can't do it but if you don't have any predator surface fish you should be able to have some hatchet fish in there and once again they are very unique they have a very unique shape and they just look cool man and yeah at five pounds a piece i think that's a good deal now a number three it's another fish that is kind of common depending on what fish store you go to and they are honey gouramis now honey gourami is another fish that is really really underrated and i think the reason for that is because most of the time when people see them they see females now understand people with the I'm, well, I'm sure most of you guys already know this anyway but in the animal kingdom females do tend to be a bit more like dull colored and that is the same case with the honey gouramis and even when i went to the fish store to take some footage they mainly had females but they did have one male in there and it's the males that are the reason they are on this list because the males have this beautiful yellow body and then a red tail and it just looks like a sunset that's why they're also known as sunset honey gouramis or i've seen them labeled as that before anyway but yeah they are beautiful beautiful fish you can get them for four pounds fifty and yeah if you get a pair a female and a male they do tend to swim together and sometimes they might even show breeding behavior so yeah that's why i put them on this list and also i was kind of struggling finding fish under five pounds but it is what it is now let's move on to number two and this one is probably one of my favorite fish out there and that is the coolie loach now the reason coolie loaches are one of my favorite fish is that there's actually a little backstory to that basically when i was a little kid like i grew up in germany and there was this one food fish store you know a store where you buy fish for food to eat you know and they had these tanks where you could see the fish and they would be alive and, and you know the guy would just take them out and then literally kill the fish in front of you and then cut them up and everything it was kind of traumatizing i can't lie but i did love going there because you got to see those big live fish and one of the fish that was always there was eels and every time i was there i was like to my mom mom can we please buy eels can we please buy eels and of course she was just looking at it like well, no, we put that in the fish tank, they're gonna eat everything in that. Sorry, I'm making a short story very long. Point is, we went to the pet store one day and I saw the coolie loaches, which were like mini eels, and I was like, oh my days, can we get them? And then my mom was like, yeah, cool, we can get them. They're tiny, they're not gonna touch anything. So we had coolie loaches in my fish tank when I was a kid, and yeah, nostalgia in it. But yeah, anyway, sorry, cool, back to the list. Coolie loaches are so cool, people. They are like mini little eels. Do be careful, they do apparently eat snails. The reason I'm saying apparently is because 
in my small fish tank. I've got some rabbit snails in there alongside my coolie loaches and they just don't bother each other at all. But coolie loaches are known to eat snails. So yeah, just be wary of that. Or maybe it's just loaches in general. I don't know. But yeah, coolie loaches, you can get them for four pounds. You, you do want to usually keep them in a group and they will sometimes hide like underneath rocks and everything. But once they get comfortable and you throw food in, they will start coming out. Also, coolie loaches are known to do their coolie loach dance where they kind of like wiggle around and go in circles, which is really cool to look at. Sometimes they can do it for hours. And yeah, definitely a big recommendation, man. And guys, we're already at number one. I can't believe it. And maybe I need to make these lists a bit bigger. By the way, guys, if you're still watching, please consider subscribing, man. I'm just trying to grow this channel. I think we're on 222 right now at the time of this recording. All right, so at number one, we have Bumblebee Gobies. Probably one of the coolest fish I've ever owned. Now with Bumblebee Gobies, actually, let me tell you the price first. They will cost you £3.75 and they are honestly tiny, like really, really tiny. And there is a story behind these as well. That like I used to have some. I bought four for my small fish tank. We got cherry shrimps in our Fluval Flex 57 liter. And if you know about cherry shrimps, you'll know that leave them alone for a while and they will breed like crazy. So we ended up having like over a thousand cherry shrimps in our maybe not a thousand, but we had so many that it was literally wherever you looked, there was shrimps like every spot, every square centimeter, there was a small cherry shrimp. They'll just keep breeding and breeding. And then I've got like a few bumblebee gobies, which might eat a few babies there, you know no population control on that yeah people don't do that it doesn't work like i might do a whole separate video on this but like yo they were in there for like a week and i'm telling you my shrimp population literally cut in half and because they're so tiny it was so hard getting them out man oh yeah it was an honest nightmare so um bumblebee gobies are very very cool but do not put them in the same tank as cherry shrimps because they will eat all of them as a matter of fact you are actually recommended to keep bumblebee gobies in the species only tank which when it comes to species only tanks they can sometimes feel like almost like a waste but at the same time you might be able to make bumblebee gobies work with pea puffers that's always a thing so um yeah oh yeah i guess you can see this as a bonus entry or like a special shout out pea puffers you can get them for like two three pounds and very cool fish man i used to have two um when i done my first one of my first videos was can you keep pea puffers with angel fish and they survived for months then i put in my moray eel and they just suddenly vanished but that's a different story i might do an update on that soon but yeah guys I know I was waffling for a long time, but this was my five fish under five pounds. And yeah, if you want to see part one of my top five fish under five pounds, then click right here. 